Hi there, Sue's here and um, just started painting a little angel for my friend for Christmas and I thought I might as well switch my camera on and see if I could um, record it. So I've started off just using some, these are Americana paints. This is um, dark chocolate and a little bit of um, fluid acrylic in titanium white. Just mix together to make a skin colour. And I'm going to just go back over that. Too worried if there are lines or it's just a suggestion and I'm going to be going around and framing it with hair anyway and then I thought I would start doing a little um, almost like a wreath around the back of her so I've got some plantation pine I'm just going to do a few little leaf shapes. I just want to make this really quick so I'm not being too fussy. I'm going to go over all of these anyway with more leaves and different colours. And then some, this is light avocado, just giving that a bit of a shake. It's a little bottle, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just some of that down. Brush a little dry. Pull some of that out. I could actually turn the card if I wanted to, but it's been really quick. While that's drying, I'm going to go in with getting some black out here. Oh, I'm going to mix some of the dark chocolate with a bit of carbon black. Carved back as a fluid acrylic. Any black really would do. Don't want it totally black. I'm just gonna give her white hair. White hair would have been probably quite good. Angel, funky angel. That's the basis of her hair. And I'll come in and might give her a few little curls in a little while. Now I'm going to move on to do her dress and what colour shall I do her dress? I think I'll do her dress sort of 
tune color. So let's get some nice teal color out. Cobalt turquoise. Cobalt turquoise, yeah, that might be a nice one. Mix that with a bit of white. I'm actually going to use a flat brush for this. Cover a bit more quickly. brush a bit. Little shoulder pads. Sort of very loosely double loading the brush but not in the traditional way. Just to give a bit of a variation of colour. My brush is quite watery as well, so that will make a difference. Do the arms. A bit more white. Let's just blend those colours in a bit more. Worried if I go over too much because I'm going to do the wings behind him in white anyway. Still picking up bits of dried paint. I'm using a piece of plastic that's come off of. Um, some double sided adhesive, it just seems like a really nice surface to use as a palette. And it's like just using up, um, you know, giving your plastic another life as well. But that's the problem, the stuff's drying on it. I'm getting little flakes in my paint. I'm also working on craft card, which is quite a porous surface, so it soaks up the paint really quickly. Give it a bit of sort of a fish tail there. And come on with some white. And then once I've got a fairly consistent colour, let's come back in and I'll have to probably do go over this once I've done the um, wings anyway. So this is just just a starting point. And now I've got some. Um, crimson. Invisalign is that? Invisalign crimson. This dark red colour. And I'm going to get out my dotting tool. Thing. And I'm going to do some roses and just do some berries, even that would probably look quite nice. Let's 
super quick as well. do move in a little bit of like a slightly different colour green mm. can add a bit of texture in as well like sort of pine leaves quite subtle but good fun coming on the other side I have no plan for this. I've just literally just thought, oh, I know I'll paint an angel. <laughs> As you do. Went out shopping today. Thought I found the perfect gift for my husband. My little local shop. Nice little shaving set. Put it on the counter. Had some a bar of shaving foam as well. I thought, oh, that's quite nice. And then when they when the till came up, it was the shaving set. I thought it was twenty five pounds. It was one hundred and twenty five pounds. <laughs> I said, oh, be sorry. That's a bit out of my price range. I don't think my husband would want me spending that much on a little shaving set for him. I didn't even have a box for it. It's quite funny. Just working my way around, adding a little bit of texture with these little sort of feathery leaves. I do want some of that gold to show, so I'm not covering it up completely. But with these scrapey textural bits, it shows through anyway. And I'll go in and add some white, but I'm going to wait until the those bits have um, dried first. Okay, so let's um, let's do a bit of work on the wings. And sorry, I just hit my head on the camera arm. It's doing a nice little outline. And then actually what I could do is make this sort of give that a bit of colour. Let's give this layer a bit of colour. And then I'll come back in and add some feathering. And then that'll give it a bit of depth if I do that underneath. play Christmas songs but I think YouTube will probably close me down if I did that I haven't even really thought about the colours that's how, that's how quickly I just thought <laughs> I know I know what I'll do <laughs> Friday afternoon, I've got a, I'm teaching an online painting class tomorrow. I don't know what I'll do, I'll just paint an angel. <laughs> well, I guess you could say I'm sort of practicing. Well, I'm doing a, a lovely gnome tomorrow, so 
not really anything like this. Anyway, sometimes you need to just break out of your zone, don't you? No, look, it's really dark out. Right. Right. I'm really covered up anyway. You can tell I'm a bit of a teal fan, can't you? Now I'm just using a round brush. I think it's a number three. Use whatever you've got in your stash. And normally I would turn the paper, but I won't because it's um because it's recording. Okay, so that'll do for that. More on this sort of shape the side a bit more mm, too much never mind I'll come back in when I do some shading I'll come back in and um, see how that works nothing to worry about and just quickly try to put it in the side so that you don't get bored. <laughs> Plus I've got so many other things to do anyway. card really does suck up the paint, oh my goodness. Okay, so I sort of got a shape there. Now what we're going to do is come in with a liner brush and just white. going to do is I'm going to use the warm white giving it a really good shape because I haven't used these paints for a while and the um, the medium in them could just settle to the top if you're not careful it's a bit lumpy so could do with a lot more shaking but it's going to have to do for now And I'm going to start from the bottom. Mm, a mix. So these are these paints are quite old now, so I'm going to need to just blend that in a bit. Give that a really good shake next time I use it. Really good shake. Let's see if I can get some more out that is a little bit better. Mm. I'm just going to go with it. Okay. I'm just doing a bit of flicking. And I will turn the card this time because it will make it a lot easier and a lot quicker for me. And I don't mind that there's quite a lot on there because it's really just very quick. And I'm just using a nice little flicking motion.
and it gives it that feathery look. I won't mold you once I've put two or three layers on it. And then I have got um, a facility to fast forward on YouTube, so <laughs> it's always an option. The next layer, I'm going to change the paint and then use it up on something else, some base coating. around the other side, start from the bottom you just find one way slightly easier than the other don't you, it's just a natural thing when you're painting don't have any little lumps and I'm just put those up and remove them some of them are blending as I'm hitting them again with the brush anyway so I'm not too worried Just sort of picking up the brush as it gets towards me, flicking it up. that layer. It's a thing about this sort of painting isn't it? You have to go through, work through the ugly really. And I'm going to get a slightly more liquid paint and do some more dotting on the wreath. Try not to put my arm in the wings. And then with a much smaller dotting tool, I'm going to do little teensy dots. And what happens is as you use up the paint on the dotting tool, the dots get smaller. So I'll do this with the white, then I might go back in with the red, do some with the red, and then do a bit with the gold even to fill out that wreath if you have your dotting tool upright you get a better shape if you have it too much on the side you get less dots and more tear shapes so it depends on what sort of look you're going for really and as you would with um, a real wreath you can go off because 
if it was sort of gypsophilia or something, it would um, it would be spreading out beyond the greenery. I've got a different red here. This is um, pyrrole red. I'm going to add a bit of that in. Oh, it's a little bit too much, but never mind. And I'm going to use an even bigger dotting tool for that. Let's see how that goes. very red. <laughs> okay, do my eyes. What shall I do now? I'm going to give her a little gold wreath of flowers around her head. love this gold, it's such a beautiful colour. Let that dry. And I'm going to come back to the... Um, I think I'm going to do some more on the wings now. It's pretty much dry, so if I do some more from the um, bottom up again. And I might use my round brush again. Let's have a look. I've got another liner brush here that I might try. And that's quite long, so I'm going to try using the titanium. A bit less lumpy than the other one. This is my sort of third layer of wings. And hopefully those all those colours one on top of the other will work quite nicely. It's really important that you turn the card to get your best stroke angle at this stage on the top layer. It's a little bit time consuming but I don't think it's taking too long. Careful not to... <laughs> I'm notorious at that, moving my bit of card round and then swishing it straight into the paint on the palette next to me. If you want it to really give and have a nice fine tail, you've got to really keep it on the card and maintain contact like that then you'll get the, the actual tail detail if you swish it up too much you won't get that And you need to have paint on your brush as well, that will help. Okay. I need to do a bit more on the outside, it's too blue still. So a bit more paint. Load my brush up again. And let's continue to balance that out. Okay, 
happy came in, bless him, and started asking me a question, so I'll just stop the video for a second. Poor fellow, he's so patient with me. Okay, and just repeat the process well, I'm going to risk a beer first, because if I... Okay, so Puppy came in, bless him, and did to ask me a couple of things. So I'm just carrying on on this side. This bit's quite boring, so I'm sure a lot of you will have something better to do than watch me flick a little brush. Remember, if you want to get little flicks off, you just need to keep contact with your brush. That's how you get those sort of feathery looks. So I will go back over the dress in a minute because the, the wings are kind of meant to be behind. So that's why I'm not worrying too much if I'm going over the edge of the dress. What happens by doing these? I mean, you could just paint the whole thing block, couldn't you? But you wouldn't get the texture of doing this. It's good fun. It's all good fun, isn't it? Quite relaxing. See those red dots? It's taken a while to dry because um, there's a really thick blob of paint. And a few more of those little feathery ones. And I think I'm happy with that. Oh, I've got a bit of blue there, so I'll just come back in and do a little bit more to cover up the blue. So, because I've actually, I can see there's a sort of edge there. So let me just... Get my red in my brush. and bring that all together. It comes together fairly quickly really, I think. I think we start with a bit of brown cardstock or car car. Right, now I'm going to go back into those and just give her smaller leaves on a little wreath around her head. Okay, so hubby just bought me gin and tonic, bless him. <laughs> I will get this painting finished though. Right. It's Friday night, after all. Now, what do I want to do next? Um, I can give her a little collar. So if I turn her around. What do I need to have a brush? Give her a gold colour, but I'm going to try the white to start with. Got a lump of 
Hände. Oder ich noch was du fragen willst. Ich hab's mal gern. Oh, und jetzt change that paint. I don't like wasting it though, so I'm just going to carry on. Let's turn around and see where that looks. That's not too bad. <laughs> Alright. Now, let me think. Come in from the other way. Is that better than that look See what's going to happen. It's going to get longer and longer, isn't it? Okay. Right. What should we do now? I'm going for the easy stuff. I'm going to do her crown. It's going to tie in with the wreath around her. So red dots, then some uh, little teensy white ones. And then some smaller of the bright red. It's very simple by doing that, I think. Back in with some more white. And I could add a bit more white afterwards as well if I wanted to. I will come back in and change the shape of her face as well. I just like the idea of some of these being over her hair. Almost out of that white paint. That'll do. Okay, let's work on the dress a little bit. So, coming back to this. I'm not going to put the paint on top of where I had it before because then I will get more bits. But I could use, now I'm going to use the titanium white instead of that lumpy stuff that I poured out. Stick with what you were doing Susie. Another brush, a slightly smaller brush there. Just grabbing any brushes really. I'm not being very careful so it's a bit naughty really. Sure you'll, sure you'll forgive me. It's Friday night, it's been a busy week. <laughs> so I'm just using this angled brush to just bring back a shape. Turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. A bit of double loading to do the same thing again I'm just sort of dragging down the colour just to 
blender in a bit more. Corner head. That was sort of her arms. And then the dress kind of came out there, didn't it? So she's kind of shapeless in terms of her body. But that's okay. You don't always want to have certain elements of the body being focal point do we? So again if I do this this is going to sort of give an outline of the bodice and then oh, I'm just winging it really to be honest I'm just this isn't planned it's just fun just a bit of fun Interested to see how she turns out, really. It's sort of getting there, isn't it? And then I've got some sort of blended elements coming in. You can use your finger to blend those in if you want to. Just giving some almost like the illusion of gathered fabrics. What I do think I need to do is just bring the arm in a little bit more. Okay, now going when that's dry, I'll do a little bit of shading. Uh, let me think. The face. Give it a little dry. Now I did actually add some details on the face. Do I want to add those? I don't know. Yeah, let's go for it. I can always paint them out. I do need to dry the headdress first. And it's quite just a nice little fleck of gold coming through there, which is quite pretty. Right, so here's my original drawing. So I've traced it and sketched it. So in terms of her face, if I hold that down, the bun's quite a lot smaller, so I might I could make that a bit bigger. That would balance out quite well. Take my transfer paper, pop that underneath, and then get my pencil. My pencil. Moved everything for this sudden video that I decided to do. There we go, I've got a nice pointy bit here that I can use. So I'm just going to quite lightly just pencil in. Mouth, nose, eyes and eyebrows. And the neck, neckline. I can't even remember if I've covered that up now. So, 
Here we go. So. I'm actually going to use a pen for that. So I'm going to use Micron pen. Micron pen. I'm going to pull that towards me so I can really see what I'm doing. Some micron pens. Now her mouth. I'll give her a suggestion of a smile. And we've got her chin kind of there. So let's bring back our colours. Now for her mouth, I'm going to use that little tiny brush and I'm going to mix the two reds I think. That's going to look a bit tarty. <laughs> Don't look looking tarty to the main job. This is where it can go horribly wrong when you look at details and you can end up making the features bigger and bigger until they look really silly. Mm. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Because that doesn't look too bad. But what I do need to do Come back in with the black. And her bun was quite a bit bigger. So I'm going to do that. Maybe looks a bit formal, doesn't it? So maybe I'll just give that a few little tendrils. So it's not quite so formal. And then maybe... Maybe a few little wispy bits. I always paint over that if I don't like it. Otherwise she just looks a bit perfect, doesn't she? Doesn't look authentic enough. And then also it means you won't be able to tell if her hair's curly or if it's been straightened. Don't really matter. I'm going to keep reloading my brush because of this. Um, craft card being so absorbent. And I really need some more black paint, that would help, definitely. Mix with the brown. I mixed with the brown earlier, didn't I, to create that? And then actually, what I could do is add a bit of interest in her hair by adding slightly 
different colors. Most people with black hair, it's not always just jet black, is it? It's quite often there's little shimmers of other colours in it. Especially when the light catches it. One or two. Shape her face a bit more. So here, I'm going to turn it round because I've got a bit of a, almost like a, I don't know where that's come from, the white light, but I'm going to. And then because that's a darker colour, it's almost like shading. I'm just taking a damp brush and just blending that in. Should have a bit here as well. She can also have it under her wreath. Because the layer of paint underneath is wet, is um, dry, it gives me that bit of opportunity to come in and to the colours. When you're mixing up colours for faces, it's always a good idea to try and mix extra so that you can You don't run out because it's really hard to colour match when you've when you've done the colour. It's really then hard if you run out to make exactly the same colour. So I'm just blending colours on the palette over here to see what I can get. Colouring up that black line and then when that's dry I can go in and shade that I'm going to add a few more tendrils the brush is a bit wet so I'm just going to take off some of the moisture and then Come off the hair so it doesn't look like you've just got a squiggle on it. That looks much better to me. I'm not sure about the colour. So can I do about the collar? I think I could add, could add a bit of gold. And I could just add some more of this. Underneath, just so that that colours everything, blends it all in and then go back in with the white <coughs> excuse me goodness I'm allergic, allergic to painting Needed something, didn't it? And half the time you've got no idea what. 
That'll do. That'll do. Right, now I'm going to add a bit of shading. To do that, I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to wet my brush. So my brush is wet. I'm going to corner load. And then what I'm going to do is wear her dress. Is meant to go under her arm. I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of black to that. So I've got the cobalt turquoise hue and put that here with a bit of black. So that's made it slightly darker. Clean my brush. And then pick that colour up and go back in. And the more you do it, this is called floating. The more you do it, the more of a shadow you will get. So I'm going to flip my brush and now I'll do it on the other side. so subtle you almost can't see it. Right, I'm going to mix a bit more of that colour. Turquoise and black. Clean my brush because I only want it on one edge and what happens is if you've got water on your brush and you just pick it up with one corner of your brush. I'm losing the light now. It's literally just on the corner of the brush there. Then as you apply the colour, so if I turn it round and do it this way, because that's the way I, I like to have that colour on the left hand side and pull it towards me. You can see it adds a bit of colour and when I turn that back up the right way, it will make all the difference. I hope so. <laughs> I'll make the difference between her arm and the body. Turn it around again. You see? Now I'm seeing that the arm's not very balanced here. But I could could bring that in by going back to my lumpy white and curving that off a little. And then I've lost the height on the shoulder so I'm going to take some of that off. And what I've got is these little like, cotton bud things. I don't even know where I've got them. You can use ordinary cotton buds or Q-tips or whatever. But that one is higher than that one. So, I guess what I need to do really is balance this out by... Bringing this in here with my lumpy white. So I'm just what I'm doing now is I'm actually getting the shape that I'm really happy with, and then I'm going to just finish that detail, and then she's pretty much done. So. I'm going to go in with the turquoise and kind of 
want to match the height on the other side. So that looks so much better, doesn't it? So much better. So I'm much happier with that. Could actually come out a little more. And then I will stop because this is a sort of thing that if you try and you can't get it. Well, in life, is it is anything ever really completely um, symmetrical? So that to me is good enough. So I'll blend that in with just a little bit of white coming back from the top again. that little highlights on the top and we see the highlights in a minute. Now I need to just disguise this a bit more. That's going to take two or three layers. Or is it? Mm, it's probably not actually. Now what I have got is just um, on her face is that almost like a like a dribble so I could actually just go in and highlight because I'm gonna highlight the hair so maybe I'll just highlight her face Mm, I don't really like that. Where's the light even coming from? That's what I mean about how you can end up ruining something. Let's go back in. Over that over. That thing's to be confident, just go for it. When you look at her face, it's got all kinds of tones and colours, isn't it? Do not seek perfection, please. And it will be an endless pursuit. And if you're never happy with your work, well, never expect anyone else to be. Just think, oh, it's meant to happen for a reason. I'm meant to do something else to it. She's telling me she's not finished, so I've got to carry on. How's that? Is that right? Now, what I need to do is really dry that and see if I can rub out that top lip line. And then I'm going to put a little, just a few more highlights on her dress. So I can still see that line on her face, but I've got other lines there now, so I can just balance out. Oh, don't be so critical. It's fine. She won't mind. She's an angel. Okay, so. Erase. Now, I don't even know if this is going to work because I might have just painted over. But just along the top lip line, let's see if this will. Hmm. Oh gosh, that worked. <laughs> now, I could go in with a black liner and actually go over that. Or I could just say... Stop it. Put some highlights and then that's it. Done. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over that. Right one at the top. Because I want that to be more a more bright white. Just 
It's almost, actually, it's almost kind of made her like she's an older lady now. I kind of like that. More. Just as if that's catching the light there. Mm. Too, too bright. I'll get a wet brush and blend that in. This is the dodgy stage of the painting where you can end up making all sorts of mistakes. So the trick is not to be frightened. back into the black if I wanted to and make those even smaller. Step back, give it a little look. Okay, now the only thing I can think of that maybe needs doing a little bit more is that just down here, almost like needs to go back into properly into the wings okay and she's finished so thank you for your patience thank you for staying with me even though the light has faded I will just lift that up a bit so you can see the full thing now the only thing that I could possibly do that maybe add some lace to the bottom here a bit of detail but I think for now that's it, and I'll put a picture up in a minute when I've um, when I've completely finished, so you can see the full the full thing. Thank you for bearing with me. Bye.